painting quivers. Gonna show you how to do some Ridge Reaper camo with spray paint and masking tape. Stay tuned. First thing I did was I drew out some shapes from uh, my camo jacket actually. And I wrote down what color they were just to get a basic idea. That was just to kind of practice and get an idea and get my head wrapped around kind of what I, they need to look like. Next, I transferred them to masking tape backed with wax paper. For this, we're gonna need three basic colors, a light green, a tan, and a brown. You can definitely get more colors, such as a dark green and even a flat black or a lighter brown, but this is gonna do more than adequate for what I want. As we see here, I have my first coat down and my first stencils on. These will show up black since the quiver was black. Make sure you tape off everything you do not want painted. So some of the largest elements of the pattern are this green color. So I use some bigger shapes to kind of get that to show. Next I'm going to paint over that with brown. As you see, there's just no real sh exact shape. It's pretty much oblong with rough edges and some, you know, unique appendages coming off the side. So get creative and don't overthink it. So a pretty prominent feature of the pattern is a significant amount of layering. So you'll notice that I've cut out certain patches from the large green elements and I'm going to repaint. Now you can definitely plan ahead and put in those small elements with your masking tape underneath the larger patches of green, but I just didn't really think of it honestly until right now. So I'm going to respray this with brown and I'm going to add some additional brown elements with the white portions of masking tape that I've added. All right, last coat's on. Now I'm just going to watch this paint dry. Just kidding. And we're done. I think it came out pretty good. Just gotta do a little clear coat on top and take off all the rest of the masking tape and we'll be set. All right, everyone, there it is. All done and installed. I think it came out really nice. Looks like I got a couple little tiny spots of paint onto the rubber, but overall I'm really happy with how it turned out. Of course you can do all of the, the entire thing camo. I decided to leave the carbon components carbon as well as all of the black. It's kind of a flat finish anyways, so it's not really a big deal. But hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. Great.